So, Chantal, um, coming to the end of your visit with us at Health Watch Suffolk, have you got any questions for us? Feel free to put us on the spot or, um, well, just have a conversation. Thank you very much for having me. And um, also, thank you to Health Watch for everything they've put into the Academy as one of the founding partners. Um, it's great that we're really focused and concentrating on one thing, and that's the co-production hub yeah. and doing that together. And uh, I know that you have been working in the area of co-production for many years now, is it? Yeah, we're, we're, into our sec we're into our third year of working with people and trying okay. to understand what co-production is within Suffolk and making our way towards towards a, a deeper understanding of how to do it as well. Yeah. And um, I guess over that period, over the three years, um, the like you said, understand co-production. How for you has it changed since you first started? Yeah, that's a great question. I think for both Amanda and I, we learned on the job, so to speak. Uh, you you can't you can't know how to do co-production without doing it and listening to lots and lots of people um, about how they feel it could work and. Often, actually, it's not even a word that's been used. It's just been happening already. People yeah. working together in different ways for a shared solution and they become creators of better services and better things. And it's not just within health and social care either, but we do have to focus sometimes yeah. on health and social care services. But often, the sort of wider areas that affect health always get brought up into co-production because we have to think really holistically so I think that's the biggest thing that I've, I've seen change over over the last couple of years is first we think health and then we think wider into social care and then we think even wider into that into poverty and into the environment and there's lots of different uh, sectors within Suffolk where co-production can and it is being embedded now for a much more Integrated. You can literally mm -hmm. well. can produce anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I found that too. I think um, there isn't really uh, one way to define co-production because it has evolved over the last few years, and I suppose it's eventually may become a discipline of some sort. But it's there's no one size fits all really. Mm -hmm. um, it depends <laughs> on the circumstance, the people, the whatever it is that you're trying to develop and create and change. I think that's why co-production will always be evolving, because circumstances are always changing, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's one of the best approaches to use when things do change all of the time, because it's not a set approach, approach. it's flexible, it can be adapted, and we've learned from um, lots of different sectors within, within health and social care and people particularly in the voluntary and charity sectors, they've been doing co-production longer than statutory and there's a lot to learn in that area. Yeah, I think yeah, I agree with that. Sums it up well. I think, I think for a long time um, we were doing things in a certain way from a certain perspective or from a certain di discipline with um, specific protocols or methodologies that perhaps they weren't adapting to the environment as much as they should have been.